Hey, this is Mike Freilink. I'm the pastor at The Gathering, and I'd like to welcome you today as you listen to this week's message. I pray it encourages you, challenges you, and draws you closer to God and His purposes for your life. Rejoice. Hello, gathering. Merry Christmas. Oh, that was pitiful. Merry Christmas. That's a little bit better. Jeez, wake up. Today we celebrate the greatest gift. We celebrate that God came, that God made himself known, that God gave himself to us and for us. This is the incredible mystery, the overwhelming, eternity-changing reality. It's not that there's just a God out there somewhere, but that He came in the fragility of a baby born in an animal feeding trough in the Middle East. Rejoice, rejoice, for unto us a child is born, for unto us a son is given. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 6. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoiced at the harvest. As warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle, every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. Amen. He, Jesus, is the gift given to us. It's extended towards. It's not just a gift here somewhere. It's the gift extended towards, given to us, given for us. And it's a gift from God that has changed. It has literally changed Everything. Now, whether you're aware of it or not, everything 
is different now because God came to us. A gift given for all mankind for all time. And this is God's amazing goodness and grace to us. Access to God. Access to the God of all creation. Given to us through his son, Jesus. Gifted to us. But the thing with the gift though, to, to have truly received it, you have to open it, right? To truly receive it. I mean, what's the first thing that children do when you give them a gift? Do they take it and put it on a shelf? Admire it for a few days? Do they simply just thank the gift giver for their generosity in giving the gift? No, they tear off the wrapping paper. Open the box so that they can fully experience the gift that has been given. So that they can fully experience all that that gift has to offer. And at Christmas and indeed all the days of our lives, I wonder if we, for those of us here in the room today, if we've ever just received that gift and have been happy just to sit it on the shelf. To admire it from afar, from time to time. Failing to rip off the wrapping to get to the gift himself and experience all that he has to offer all that he came here for. Because he came not just to be admired. He came to be encountered. He came to bring God to man. God to us. He is not the God over there from us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. Here, now, in our midst not afar or distant, he is here, he's come to where you are, to where I am. Matthew chapter 1 verse 23, the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. God with us, once distanced, once unknown, once out of reach, now close, given to be encountered and experienced. I love the way that the gospel writer John starts his account of the gospel. He says these words, that the, that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. I've heard it paraphrased this way, that the, the word became flesh and blood and moved right into the neighborhood, right where we are, to our address, to our home. God came in flesh and blood. And what we celebrate at Christmas, what we as followers of Jesus celebrate every day is that he is no longer the God out there somewhere unknown, unattainable. He is no longer the God that can only be approached on our behalf by another through a priest. A God so close, but just yet out of reach. What we celebrate is that he is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He is God present here now given to us and for us. Oh, may God teach you the meaning of that name, Emmanuel. It is wisdom's mystery, God with us. Sages look at it and wonder. Angels desire to see it. The plumb line of reason cannot reach halfway into its depths. The eagle 
wings of science cannot fly so high, and the piercing eye of the vulture of research cannot see it. God with us. It is hell's terror. Satan trembles at the sound of it. His legions fly apace. The black-winged dragon of the pit quails before it. Let Satan come to you suddenly, and do you but whisper the word, God with us, and back he falls, confounded and confused. Satan trembles when he hears that name. God with us. It is the laborer's strength. How could he preach the gospel? How could he bend his knees in prayer? How could the missionary go into foreign lands? How could the martyr stand at the stake? How could the confessor acknowledge his master? How could men labor if that one word were taken away? God with us is the sufferer's comfort, is the balm of his woe, is the alleviation of his misery, is the sleep that God gives to his beloved, is the rest after exertion and toil. God with us is eternity's sonnet, is heaven's hallelujah, is the shout of the glorified, is the song of the redeemed, is the call of angels and is the everlasting oratorio of the great orchestra of the sky. God with us. God with us. wonderful thing that we the the Jesus follower get to celebrate not just one day like we've got to wait all year for this day like we have to wait all year to celebrate like we've got to wait all year to experience this no this is what we who know him and are known by him get to celebrate and experience every day this fact, this truth, this earth-shattering, life-changing reality is that He is Emmanuel, God with us, here now. So what is this God here now with us like? Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, and the prophet said, And, and He will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This is who this God with us is. He is wonderful. This Emmanuel, this here now God is, He's awesome. He's amazing. Astonishing, brilliant, incredible, magnificent, marvelous, outstanding, phenomenal, remarkable, sensational, beyond compare, sent to us and for us. Words fail to express just how truly wonderful he is. And we can only stand in awe before this here now God. This God that came for us, he is wonderful. 
He is counsellor. He, he, he came for us so that we don't have to navigate the complexities of our own sinful nature and the minefield that is life. He came to guide us, direct us, show us, lead us, correct us, comfort us. It's not you alone against the world, the God of all creation. The comforter is sent to us and for us. It's a wonderful thing to have friends, good friends and good family and even at times professional help to comfort us. But church, this morning we have counsellor himself sent to us and for us. Here now, not at some point in the future, not I hope that maybe here now with us. He's mighty God all-powerful, almighty and strong. There is nothing and there is no one that can stand against him. He is sovereign and he reigns supreme. He is the Lord God Almighty. He is El Shaddai and he is sent to us and for us all the might, power of heaven given to us through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He is mighty God, but He is everlasting Father. He's the self-existent one, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is yet to come, the eternal one, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, sent to us, sent for us. The one with no beginning and no end. This is who this Emmanuel, this God here with us now, this is who he is. The one who fights for you, the one who walks with you is the everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. He does, just doesn't give peace as a commodity. He is the Prince of Peace. Peace is not what He has. Peace is who He is. He is the peace that we can know and have in the middle of situations and circumstances that should cause us to feel, to fear, that should cause us to fail. But because He is the Prince of Peace, because He is here now with us, we can walk through the difficult circumstances of life with a peace that transcends all understanding. What a truly remarkable, life-altering, eternity-changing gift that is Jesus given to you. Not just to us in a general sense, specifically given to you, gifted to you. He came for you and he still continues to come for you. Not a distant God, but a here now God. And as undeserving recipients of such grace, mercy and love, forgiveness, redemption, we can only but stand with hearts full of awe, thanks and wonder and say, thank you, Father God, for your son. Thank you for Emmanuel, God, here with us. Thank you that you made a way when there was no way. When we are unable to bridge the gap between us and a holy God that demanded justice for our wasteful and wayward living. You sent your son, God, with us. Thank you for God with us. Jesus, Emmanuel, the gift given to and for all men, all women, everywhere for all time. Wonderful counselor mighty God, everlasting Father, 
Prince of Peace. Let us today and every single day of our lives be determined to make sure that we unwrap an incredible gift that's been given to us and not set Jesus aside on the shelf, happy to just reference him from time to time, admire him from a distance. Now let's unwrap him and experience all that he has to offer us. The greatest gift that's ever been given, Jesus. And today we join with the heavenly hosts and say, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Glory to God. As we finish today, I I don't know everybody in the room and maybe today you've never responded to that gift that's been offered to you. Maybe you've not been aware that there has in fact been a gift that there has in fact been an offer that Jesus extends to you. You've never responded to that and all that he has made way for. I want to give you the opportunity today. God came to us so that we could be made right with Father God. Jesus said that I have come. This is the express purpose for which that I have come. I have come to seek and to save those who are lost. John said in his gospel, but to all who believed him and to all that who accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. So if you believe him and you'd like to accept what Jesus has done for you, I'd love to meet with you and share with you the incredible gift that God extends to us through Jesus. So make sure you come and grab me or Pastor Chris after the meeting. Amen. Before we go out praising and declaring joy to the world in just a moment, let me pray for you this morning. Father God, we just thank you that in just what is such an incredibly busy time of year, there's just so much going on in our worlds It just seems to be, to me, the older I get, the busier and busier life gets. And it's such a, it's so easy in the busyness of life to to leave those things that are most important on the shelves. We can leave behind friends and family, our own health and busyness. Lord God, most importantly, we could sadly leave you behind. I pray, Lord God, that through over the course of this Christmas season, that we'd be reminded again the incredibly precious, wonderful gift that's been given to us to know you, to not know about you, to know you so intimately and so wonderfully. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for what you've done. And I pray, Lord God, that you might might move mightily in hearts. That as the carol that we just sung earlier declares, let every heart prepare him room. That we as ones that know you, that we'd be diligent, Lord God, not just at at this time of year, not just in the Christmas season, but that we would always be making room for you in our hearts, in our lives, in our homes, in our hearts, in our families, in our finance. Let every heart prepare him room. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. amen, amen, amen. Let's go out rejoicing today. Joy to the world, for the Lord has come. Merry Christmas. Thanks, team.